Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up in a minute. And right there we see the orange. I'm gonna try to zoom in here. It's hard to do when this thing's hot. It's gotta be super perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna try to come back in here and get this. Now I dabbed with a little uh, towel and uh, some forceps. I dabbed that area where the orange sealant is. That That is the seal that I did with the gasket maker, okay? And you kind of see that line going to the left a little further out, and there's a little bit more gasket sealer on there, okay? There is no oil pouring down the side of this. It was leaking to be pouring down the side. Now, if you look in the, more of the foreground, kind of closer, bring it out a little bit, there's a bolt right there. Try to zoom in on it here. It it tries to accumulate and drips down from the, where's that mounting bolt? Right about, let's see, oh no, the exhaust. Yeah, right there at the exhaust where it's kind of you can see it already kind of start to trickling down right there there's a nut that's what it drips seems to be dripping off of so that stuff that's all gooey right there in the middle of the screen that's the cooling fins of the cylinder toward the right of that see the last cooling fin back up behind that that is the edge of the head Okay, so that's the head. And then further to the right inside the engine, that's the cylinder. So this with the cooling fins on it is the head. And I'm suspecting head gasket. So when I turn this on, I'm gonna bring the camera back down here. Now I want you to take a look at the orange area and then as this warms up right where that exhaust pipe comes down on the left just to the uh, left of that is the nut that's where it accumulates the oil at that one right there and it starts dripping so that is not coming from the sump gasket okay and I pulled this heat guard down this heat shield right here this usually goes up let me zoom back this zoom this back out this usually goes up this is nothing I ever took off okay this kind of goes up and it cradles the cylinder all right but see all that dirt that's on there and that oily mess this stuff's been accumulating for a while down here you might have had a slow leak at some point from that from that exhaust nut right there well I say exhaust nut it's one of the nuts that holds there's one to the left and then the one to the right that's real oily okay so my suspicion is the head gasket all right I'm gonna fire it up and I'll show you so I'm at the I'm at the front of the engine on the right side this one is not the governor shaft is not leaking that would be easier I was hoping that was it. It's normal for that one to be leaking, but it's not. Okay, that is that is not leaking. So I'm gonna fire it up, bring it back up here, and just watch this thing run for a while. And then be looking at that nut. It's kind of hard to see back up in there, but it's right there in the middle of the screen right now. So be watching that one, and I'll focus in on that when the puddle starts accumulating on that. I'm gonna back it off now. A little bit so we can see that whole sump gasket area all right it's basically from where that orange is sort of in the middle of the screen and then it goes out where the uh, sump mates up to the uh, engine block that is the seal okay that i did with the uh, gasket maker and then as it runs we'll uh, zoom in on this nut that's where it's accumulating so it's not like leaking from the sump 
and then jumping over to that nut. It's in between, it's somewhere on the head that this thing is leaking. It's not coming from the sump. Let's get it fired up here. Got a little fan going. Hopefully that stays in place.